welcome back to the once a week kitchen today i'm making uh, cornbread muffins savory ones with feta cheese and cherry tomatoes they're very very nice very delicious you can eat them on their own you can have them with soups or you can have them with chili uh, you can add your own flavoring so they're very versatile very quick and easy to make Right, cornbread. Uh, I'm making savoury muffins today. Um, so I've got in the bowl uh, 250 ml, which is one cup of milk, uh, 200 ml of cooking oil, uh, you can use vegetable oil. Um, I'm using olive oil today because that's all I've got at the moment. Um, 160 ml grams or one and a quarter cups of cornmeal or polenta whichever you like to call it um, I've got 120 grams which is one cup of strong plain flour pop it in there a teaspoonful of baking powder a teaspoonful of salt uh, we're going to use the, I've got uh, some quarter cherry tomatoes here and 100 grams of feta which I've crumbled with my fingers. Um, the, all we need now is one egg yolk which I'm going to separate the egg, the yolk from the white. So we'll let the, the white run in. To the jug, keeping the yolk inside. If you keep transferring it like that, it will let all the yolk, all the white pass through. Let's try it again. Sometimes I get this wrong. I don't always get it right. Right, pop the egg yolk in. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put that on one side and whisk all these together to make a smooth batter. You can use any savoury ingredients you like for these. Um, cheese, cheddar cheese, um, sliced peppers, tomatoes. Uh, I like feta and cherry tomatoes. It seems to work for me. So that seems smooth now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that in the fridge for half an hour so that the, the corn meal or polenta can soak up the liquid. That seems to improve them. I don't know why. <laughs> While the cornbread is in the fridge. I'm going to whisk the egg whites until they're stiff. You'll have seen it before but it's an old trick. If you can tip it upside down and the eggs don't fall out that means they're stiff. Right, the uh, mixture's been in the fridge now for half an hour, so I'm going to carefully fold in the, the stiff egg whites. I don't want too much mixing at this stage, just roughly to combine. about right. A few bits of egg white left, that's fine. Now the next job is to get the mixture into the muffin tins. Uh, 
well I haven't got muffin tins I've just got bun tins I haven't got everything in this kitchen so uh, I've bought muffin cases so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a spoonful of each and it's going to make about 12 uh, the trick here is to try not to get it all up the sides of the paper cases which can be tricky just put a heap spoonful in each one and then if I have too much I can put a little bit more in oh see that's what I didn't want to happen it's very easy at this stage to make a right mess <laughs> I've managed to get all the cornbread mixture in, equally divided into the 12 cups well roughly equally <laughs> um, I've got the oven set at gas 6, electric 200 centigrade, which is 400 Fahrenheit. And these are going to take about 15 minutes. So the next thing is to top them off with some crumbled feta and about three bits of tomato. The feta, I think, gives a, a lovely tan just offsets the flavour of the tomato. You can use strong cheddar. Always advisable to use a strong cheddar, get the most flavour. But I do like these. And these are perfect for a, a, a buffet or a picnic. But as, as with most muffins, they're best eaten warm. three bits of tomato on so I'm going to pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes and I will try not to open the oven door during that time right the cornbread muffins are done now uh, I've got a cup of tea ready and I'm going to have a couple of these for my lunch they look delicious and they smell delicious I might even have three so I hope you have a go, I hope you enjoy them. See you later, bye.